First, they are the former tag team champions, accompanied by the coach, Lance Payne. They are Ross and Son, James Ross, and John Ross, the good neighbors. Love them or hate them, former tag team champions. Absolutely. They look like a million bucks in their little green outfits. Their opponents, they are the new reigning and defending tag team champions. They are banging Jake Wiley. All that, Braden Elliott, the Rad Boys. One of the most fun and dominant tag teams on the East Coast right now. Rad this Boys are in is the house. it, man. Spread the word. Let people know this is the moment. This is the time. It is time to see a tag team title match on Wednesday night live. Live as live can be, man. Here we are. These four men have uh, fought each other many times, but never for the tag titles and never on a Wednesday night. All in, all in one package here. This is a very special night here on Imagine Alive from the Dojo. We thank you all for tuning in with us. As always, make sure you hit subscribe and that notification bell. Hit like on the video. This thing's about to get underway. This Saturday night, I mean, it, to describe it as anything more than a hell of a fight or less than a hell of a fight would be an understatement. And it really could have went either way. I know that... Uh, you know, I don't know how much he wants to get now. Braden Elliott is dealing with a nagging back injury as a result of trying to win these titles. Jake Wiley not back to 100%. John Ross, of course, uh, wearing those bandages. He's a little uh, under the under the spell of uh, pain as well. I, it's my understanding the most fresh man in this match is James Ross. Does that give them Ross and Sons an advantage? I was going to say yes, and he got pushed down on his keister by Braden Elliott, who looks very angry. James Ross uh, always impresses me in, in the ring. Um, what he doesn't impress me with is his attitude and uh, his devout following of Mr. Neighbor John, his father. It's just that holier-than-thou nonsense that these two bring to the table. Like, they're doing it better than you're doing it, and it's just, I mean, it's exhausting. We see some really great wrestling right out the gate here. Both guys don't want to make a mistake. Beautiful. I mean, this is it. This is the cream of the crop, man. You want to be great at, at tag team wrestling. You need to hold the Imagine Tag Team titles. And right now, that is the Ross, the, that is the Rad Boys. They are the team to beat. They are on top of the world. And it was an emotional night for them on Saturday night. Absolutely, the most prestigious prize in Central Pennsylvania for tag teams is the Imagine Live tag team titles right now. Both these guys, all four of these men rather, know what it means. Uh, with James Ross, the freshest man in the match, the strategist Jake Wiley takes him to the mat very wise. I've said it many times, you watch this show for a while, this is a strategy I really like. You know, you grab the head, you control the whole body, if you can control the head and... That is the strategy right now that we're seeing the Rad Boys take uh, into well effect. Grab a headlock, go for quick cover. Imagine that novel idea, try to win the match. Not only a quick cover, but he also jumped in between James and John Ross, uh, putting his body in. After that kick out, uh, James couldn't make the tag there. Very smart tag team wrestling Absolutely, by the you Rad know, Boys. The Rad Boys are great already and somehow getting better. Getting better all the time. And that's what you want to see. You know what I mean? If you have a young tag team like the Rad Boys, we say young, they've been together for two years already now, but it, it's exciting to see where the future goes with Jake Wiley and Braden Elliott because the sky's the limit. Absolutely. In As two years, they've probably had 100 matches uh, looking fresh in the purple and blue gear. My favorite version of the Rad Boys here. Good, good, good looking stuff. You know, we got Jake Wiley, who's the strategist. The guy who uh, formulates these plans, finds a way to get his team to come out on top. And then you got the fiery temperament of Braden Elliott. This kid, if you grab a hold of him and try to move him around, he is rock solid, man. He is hard to handle in the ring, hard to move. He is as well versed in amateur wrestling as anybody that I've come across in professional wrestling. Uh, and that's why, to me, these two are an absolutely flawless tag team. The other end of this spectrum, though, is Ross and Son, where they have come so far so quickly and have found ways to win matches that you wouldn't expect them to win. Beautiful! There's that patented Jake Wiley dropkick. Well done, man, right in the back of the head. Oh, he slapped him in the face, right in the mouth. 
And Jake Wiley is not happy. He has been slapped in the face more than once during this whole feud by James Ross. And he, come on. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Don't underestimate Ross and Sons. They are, they are devious. Devious as they come and find ways to win matches. And Jake Wiley returns the receipt with a slap in the face. Oh, look at the tag team specialists of the Rad Boys have their own answer. Very nice. Oh, stuff. come on. Oh, John Ross, always the opportunist. He, and there's that temperament. There's that anger that we've talked about. Braden Elliott letting his temper get the better of him. If you find any flaw in the in the armor of the Rad Boys, I would say that's it right there. Braden Elliott is so hot-headed, it lends itself to the occasional mistake. That's the same rage, though, that wins the matches once that tag's made. He comes in a house of fire. You are 100% correct. So now it's up to Ross and Son to not allow that tag to happen because if Jake Wiley gets out of this situation and to a tag, it is going to spell disaster for James and John Ross. Uh, they're, they're holding Jake Wiley down real well in their end of the pool at, in their neighborhood, pun intended, as they uh, set him up here. Come on, ref, get one of these guys out of here. Just having their way with Jake Wiley. We appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. Uh, this, uh, this main event is what Imagine Wrestling is all about. The caliber of wrestling that you can see uh, on Wednesday nights, on Saturday nights, uh, imagine this times seven or eight, when you see seven or eight matches like this, this is the quality of wrestling you see. You know, I've said it in the past and I'll say it again tonight. We are giving away wrestling shows on Wednesday night for free that are often better and almost always better than a lot of people are charging 15, 20, 25, $30. Absolutely innovative wrestling at its best, like we just saw there from John Ross with a, with a strange quad drop down to his knees there, just almost breaking the leg of Jake Wiley. Uh, if you haven't caught Imagine Wrestling Live, that's the way to see it. It is the wildest, the craziest, the most insane, the most severe, the most family-oriented, action-packed night of independent wrestling in Pennsylvania that you'll see. I highly recommend. I highly recommend you check it out. I'll tell Action you what, like this is what you get. What Jake Wiley would like to check out right now is a tag, man. He's His hamstring has taken a beat, and you know, oftentimes you see guys focusing on an entire limb. We are seeing right now specialized offense in a way that is few and far between and beyond their years. That hamstring attack has been ruthless. That, that foot and a hip flexor fall over there shades a dirty Dick Slater, James Ross, well beyond his years in this ring. Amazing stuff. I really, uh, I, I you know, for all their dirty tactics, you really have to admire Ross and Son and the tactics and, and the straight ahead offense to this hamstring that we've seen to this point. They've been a, doing a good job of cutting this ring off, not letting Jake Wiley get any mileage at all. We've seen John Ross use his shoulder. We've seen James Ross use his knee and his foot. Now we're seeing him drape the foot across the ropes. Jake Wiley able to get out of it. Oh, lost focus for a second. Did James Ross? He stopped to talk to daddy and got punched in the gut for his efforts. Followed that up with a real sharp flipper. The forearm caught him right underneath the left ear. Oh, about one foot away from that tag there. So close, will he get it? It is close. That's real close. Oh, he was so close. Not able to close the deal though. Is referee that a legal Chris, tag? I question it. Referee Chris allowing it. Well, John Ross sliding in for a real quick pin. Smart strategy. You know, he went, you go for the win, but he also grabbed that left leg. And again, there's the coach, Lance Payne. Come on, Chris, turn around. Playing into Braden, that temper of Braden Elliott apron. again. Comes into play. Braden Elliott needs to control that thing. His temper's out of hand. 
I'll tell you what, though, if you're Brady Nelly, how you not be mad in that situation? Yeah, it's uh, it's real I mean, frustrating. It's frustrating to sit here and watch. Look, I understand managers have a place in professional wrestling, but that does not include physical contact with the wrestlers. That's ridiculous and out of line, and I don't like it one bit. Jake Wiley trying to fire back. Two elbows in a row. Let's see what he got here. Not able to run, though. The offensive stylings of Ross and Son paying There's off. One thing I hate more than the whistle, it's Coach Lance Payne laughing. Up through, he's able to land on his feet. Ducks the line. Oh, there tag! Ross and Son are in trouble now. Murder line, double close lines. Third one, fourth one, and he is mugging these two and has all kind of momentum right now. Splash in the corner. Another splash in the corner. Ducks the line. Oh, he splashes his own father. Shotgun drop kick. He has all the fire and all the momentum right now. Braden Elliott in full control. Just it like is he Calabunga said. time going for that. Oh no, oh no. Only two. Caught him on oh. that surgically repaired jaw. Jake Wiley caught him. And another oh. super kick. Two in a row. James Ross is in trouble. Jake Wiley going up top with a hurt foot. Can I know what that's it? all about. Double dare. He's down. One, two, three. That's it. Rad boys retain. The winners and still your tag team champions, Brayden Elliott, Jake Wiley, the Rad Boys. What a win. And to me, that concludes this epic situation.